Hello guys, today I will teach you on how to create new Flutter application using Visual Studio Code. But before that, you need to download and install the following software before you start developing Flutter application using Visual Studio Code. Then after installing all the software requirements in Flutter application development, you can now create your first Flutter application. So the first step is click on command palette then search on flutter then click on flutter new project then type the name of your project for example my first flutter app then press enter to confirm then select the directory of your project. For me, I created a folder in my documents named Flutter Project. Then select folder to create the project. Then wait for a few minutes while the Visual Studio Code populate all the requirements for your first Flutter application. Then it is done. So check the project directory of your first application. So in here we have the Android, the iOS, and the library which is nandun yung ating main Dart file. And then we have the test folder, and we also have metadata. Packages, my first Flutter app, IML, pubspec.lock, pubspec.yml. In our LIB folder or the library folder, this is where we can find our Dart files. Before editing anything on this file, we need to check first if the project was successfully created or it has the complete files and directories for our project. So how to test if the project was successfully created? We need to run our Flutter application. So how to run our first Flutter application? You can click on this button, the play button, or the run without debugging, or just simply press F5 on your keyboard. So let's run our first application. So in here, you need to select the device where you're going to run your application. So in here, we have the start Pixel 2 API 27 mobile emulator and if you don't have any emulator on your computer you can create Android emulator or if you have a mobile phone especially an Android phone you can connect your phone using a USB cord to your computer and let the computer detect your phone by opening the debugging mode once detected you can select your mobile phone in here but this time we'll be running our first application using an emulator the emulator was created in android studio So wait until the application will be loaded to your emulator. Okay, check on always allow from this computer. Okay. So we find an error here, cannot launch without an active device. So the problem here is 
our emulator is not yet started so what you need to do is to try to run again your application then again wait until the application will be installed on our emulator so you can monitor the installation by clicking on the terminal or in the debug console so in here you can see that there is a progress here launching main.dart on android sdk built for x86 in debug mode so let us still wait So, still running Gradle task, assemble debug. Just wait until it's done. This will take a few minutes, but once the application is already installed or running on your emulator, once you made a changes on your application, you can use the hot reload feature so that you can instantly update or run your application. After a few minutes, the application was successfully installed to our emulator. So let us try the application. So we can try our application by pressing the floating button or the floating action button here. So as we can see, the number is increasing depending on how many times depending on how many times we click this button then try to change some content on our first flutter application for example we'll be changing the text here uh, for example we type my first flutter application then let's run again our application using the restart button so as you can see the text is updated in our text component so that's all thank you for watching and see you on our next videos god bless everyone